we went uh, through the huge number of institutions and reports and also a number of conferences dealing with climate change. And uh, that analysis showed that there is one dimension not addressed, and that is the social dimension or the human impact dimension. And there are reasons for that, because it's difficult part to do so. When we made the inquiry in Geneva among all the actors or, or the community of actors of humanitarian uh, work, it was not yet considered such a priority because they are bound to present disasters, crisis, violence. And when we looked into their strategies through during <coughs> private direct contracts, then of course uh, there was still a certain hesitancy of what is the human impact of climate change. So that is exactly why we then try now with this report to find an answer to help the community of actors in humanitarian activities as well as in development activities, not only to bring the two systems closer together, but to undergo common risk analysis and to address those uh, issues together. We are also convinced that this dimension will already in Bonn have an impact in the ongoing processes and we are uh, convinced and working of course for that that uh, it will help to bring the proximity of concerns that climate change has happened now and nobody is excluded to the mind of people and to the mind of uh, politicians. The, the, yeah, the, the report is directed not only to governments or the community that Walter referred to, but to NGOs, to individuals, and to really raise awareness of what is happening in communities to individuals, and what may happen even in our own communities very recently. I mean, you've seen incredible floods here in Europe, in the UK, which you hadn't seen for a long time. It is not something that's going to happen to others. It can happen to us. And there are emerging issues that we need to think about. Let's say for argument's sake, assume that a country A becomes so water stressed that the population simply have to move. They cannot live there. And they move in mass, and they will. And they move towards country B. And when they get there, they are stopped at the border. Mm -hmm. That we have our own water problems. We don't need you. Mm -hmm. What do we do with them? How do we protect them? Under what norms? What are the means? There are issues imagine that we need to begin to think about, and this is some of the uh, so, some of the reasons why we are doing the work we are doing at the forum and producing this kind of report. Okay, thank you, Andreas.